Big Bad John Hartson or Big Pierre Van Hoydonk. Both outstanding Celtic strikers. But who was your favourite player? Leave a comment. Valdi heads it down and at the back post is John Hartson to head past Stefan Klaus for Celtic. The man who Rangers said no to gives Celtic a vital goal. The man gets it under control. Gets it down onto the ground. Now he looks to have lost it. It's under the foot there though. It has a look up into the top corner. What a streak! Collins slides it in. A chance on again. And this time, Van Hoydonk was in John Hartson. Brady floats it in. Oh, it's dropped for Henrik Larsson. He didn't connect. The flag is up. The flag is up. And it's not going to count for John Hartson. Uh, previous to that, it's a glorious chance for Larsson. It's 1 0 to Celtic. Gets in the cross. Van Hoydonk's there. Linking with Donnelly. Good running by McLaughlin. Van Hoydonk. The great shot by Hoydonk, and Celtic take the lead. Well, that was a classic. Yeah, Van Hoydonk against Snelders. 2-0 to Celtic. So Celtic with it all to do now. Tosh McKinley gives the cross, it's Van Hoydonk. And that's in. Well, this is quite incredible. Three goals apiece here at Ibrox. And Pierre Van Hoydonk strikes from the edge of the box and suddenly Celtic are in the lead. Van Hoydonk now top of the scoring charts. And it was Andreas Tom who set up this one. Good work in the left. And the Dutch striker there. To be oh. It's a chance and it's headed out to the edge of the box only as far as Alan Thompson. Thompson lost it back post. It's John Hartson and it's a goal! A lovely goal from John Hartson and his hat trick. Great play from Alan Thompson. Lofted it back into the far post. It's a chance, it's a goal! What a goal from John Hartson! With an overhead kick, the ball bouncing about inside the box. And Hartson from about the penalty spot. One touch stuff and it's now with Alan Thompson. Thompson swings it to the far post. John Hartson, a first time touch. Oh. What a goal! What a goal from John Hartson! The ball from the left from Alan Thompson. He took it on the volley and it nestled in the back of the net. And good movement off the ball by Celtic. Kim comes across. It's Van Hoydong. And that's another superb goal. But the build up was good, and Celtic continued to play the best passing game in Scotland today. Pierre Van Hoydong had saved his best for the second half, though. Some claims for handball by the Dutchman, but the finish of the highest. Good play by Collins. Van Hoydong. Pierre Van Hoydong claiming his 14th goal of the season. Pierre Van Hoydonk just can't stop scoring this season. This time it was a powerful header from a corner. This is Tom. Great play by Tom. Showing great pace here. Flipping it back. It's Van Hoydonk. Picks out Henrik Larsson. John Hartson has at the edge of the 18 yard box. He comes in. Hartson gets it. Go! Hartson. Oh, he squeezed it in the corner. Terrible mistake in defence and Hartson is... 14 minutes from the end, a free kick for Celtic on the left. Tosh McKinley floated the ball in and Pierre van Hoydonk flying in to take advantage of Rousset missing the cross. Well, Pierre van Hoydonk restored the Celtic fans' sanity. And then again in the dying minutes by van Hoydonk for his second. A very high ball, that this will be a danger. And there you see the goalkeeper fumble it. Van Hoydonk scores. Next day's involved. It falls for the big Dutch striker. He makes no mistake. That's his 21st goal of the season. Van Hoydonk, casual approach. Walker goes the wrong way. Celtic, three up and cruising. The Van Hoydonk. 2-0 to Celtic. Just the risk if Celtic get one, then the nerves really would be rattled and there might be another one. And Van Hoydonk has got one. It eventually came from Pierre Van Hoydonk who pounced to score with a sensational strike. Settled completely, then Van Hoydong! And you heard me Tom, he's onside. Van Hoydong, he said this must be the second for Selby. It is! Cadets cross, Van Hoydong in, and that's his 31st goal of the season. Van Hoydong made it 3-2. Right foot, he leaves the talent. Thompson comes off Barry Nicholson, John Harrison! Oh, magnificent goal! What a fabulous...
fabulous goal by Pierre van Hoydon. 23 minutes gone here at Petardre. Good play by Cadet. Van Hoydonk there. A penalty and Van Hoydonk beat Rab Balfour with... Lambert's cross. John Hudson's header. Mialbi. Misjudged by Larison. John Hudson's in. Certainly is. 2-0. That's a brilliant finish by John Hudson. He saw Tony Keyes. Tom finds him, it's Van Hoydonk! Yes! Celtic makes the breakthrough! And Palo de Canio, who else? Setting up goal number four. Covering so much ground, obviously enjoying these new boots, slips it through for Pierre Van Hoydonk. And then in the dying seconds, watch this, Pierre Van Hoydonk doing what he failed to do from the penalty spot. But then in the last minute of play, McNamara's cross, the header from Pierre Van Hoydonk, and the points stay with Celtic. After all the controversy. Switch now to the other flank. Showing good skills. Celtic take the lead, Van Hoydonk. To Stuart Gray. Out to Boyd. Again, Celtic play their players forward. South Hills v who gets a touch on it. He comes off Boyd and Van Hoydonk. Donnelly's corner. Van Hoydonk. Van Hoydonk got the second. De Canio's cross. A tremendous leap. And it's 2-0 Celtic. Free kick Celtic, Van Hoydonk. 1-0 in some style. Leighton couldn't get near it. And watch for Van Hoydonk inside the box. Leighton could not keep that one out. And that became 4 12 minutes after the interval. Van Hoydonk the scorer. With this record very much in recent times is Hartson! Any shape or form can anybody think the game has yet won, but here's a gap. He's trying to put it beyond any doubt. There's Hearts and he's done it. Halfway line chips it to the boards. Chris Sutton. Chris Sutton inside to John Hudson. It must be a goal. It's a goal for John Hudson. A goal for John Hudson. Wonderful move. Alan Thompson headed down by Chris Sutton. And John Hudson in time to bury it. It's Celtic 1. Rangers 0. Chris Sutton timed his jump well. John Hartson! Celtic have equalised! A brilliant finish from Hartson, 10 minutes from half time. And is that the goal that points Celtic towards the last 16 of the year? Led in by Mike Namara. A good goal! John Hudson's in. Certainly is. 2 0. And that's a brilliant finish by John Hudson. He saw Tony Keig off his line. McNamara looks for Hudson. Oh, he took it early. That's a splendid effort. And that's a two. To the UEFA Cup semi finals. Oh, there's a good ball. Hudson, can he make it this time? He has. He's broken his duck. He'll try and take him on the outside, he does. And gets the cross in, and it must be... Hartson getting the final touch. Oh, it's a gift. Well, that sums up an incredible day for the D United as Hartson gets his... Yeah. A chance of Arthur Evan and Heidel. He scores! Van 
Well, that, I, for a moment, I thought that was over the bar. <laughs> for Hudson, 2 0. In from Petrov. Hudson scores again. Tomorrow though, and no flag here as Hartson goes for goal. He'll take three one ahead. Lubomiravchik back post Hartson and Celtic a level five minutes into the second half. Inside the last 15 minutes of the match, and something add to their tally. Here's Hartson, and he just has one. An absolutely wonderful piece of uh, skill from Lubomiravchik first and foremost. Petrov's made his way into the penalty area through Maguire's legs. After good work from O'Donnell and Collins, it's Pierre van Hooydonk who gratefully accepts the chance to open his account. A gap. He's going to get the better of Rubio here. Oh yes! John Hartson! Larson to Guppy. It seems there is no stopping them. Guppy's delivery. Hartson is there! Good chance for Hartson. One and again, it was the Dutchman who did the damage with a superb finish to make the score 3 0. Jamie Smith possibly looking for his second. John Hartson. What outstanding strikers they both were. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.